Yeah, actually, I so I figured that I had a burnout. Um, so I had to work way, way, way less, uh, less behind my screen. And that's what, what happened in Bali. What happened is that when you work a lot and you're always behind your screen and you're like always rushing for work and you when you have a lot of like worry thoughts in your head, there's a lot of pressure, like our minds cannot take take that. So um, I'm also someone that has light migraines. So that was like, that was just not a good cocktail, basically. But when I came to Bali, what happened there was I would go to the beach and watch the sunset. Usually I would be in the office. I would go for a dance class or something. Usually I would be in the office. I'm there. The lifestyle itself was different. I also, I did eat very, very healthy in Bali or sorry, in, in Manila. Um, but I do think that because I ate a little bit more and I was like, I had time to eat. So I was like, because in, in the office, I was just always like behind yeah, my laptop just, quickly. It, like, yeah. And then you have a, a meeting there and a dinner there and, and quick that like, it was, it was a rush life. It was a, an office rush life. Um, the commute wasn't crazy because it was five minute walk, but because of that, I never had like a proper transition time going home. And in Bali, all of that changed. I went for like walks, I went on adventures, I made a lot of friends. So it was a combination. But I think that when you like, I'm not a doctor, right? But just because I can connect with myself, I can listen to my body, and I can design my morning to evening completely based on how I feel, this conscious living helps me to create something that works for me now i still work quite a bit but if i feel like oh i'm getting this headache again i i close my laptop and go out in nature so that's like one of my sort of prerequisites i need to go to the beach a, a park a forest a lake something <laughs>